Hey you guys, Matt Allen here. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are headed out for an evening session of multi-species fishing. Come along, let's go see if we can catch a big one. The main species we're targeting this evening is striper. I love chasing giant striped bass. Now we may run into some bass too, some small mouth or some large mouth, and that would be awesome. But my main goal is to get a big striper. Now water temps are still pretty high here, so I expect these fish to be deep. When the temps get really, really high, a lot of them will go down to 20, 30, 40, 50 feet of water. So we're set up with big hair jigs, flutter spoon, jigging spoon, swim baits, a heavy lipless. We're gonna go down deep and see if we can't get one of these monsters and then from there, we'll start adapting. There's one. That was my second hop. Pulled right up, started side imaging, saw some fish sitting down deep. Just dropped this jigging spoon down there. This is a Blade Runner dust spoon. Nice striper. Well, that's how you kick things off right there. Hey, buddy. Take it easy. Blade Runner, one and three quarter ounce. That's the Sierra color. And a nice striper to kick things off. First cast, second hop. Let's hope that's the start of a really, really fun evening. Oh, I got bit on the fall. Got him, he came back. Ooh, he smoked it. Might be a good one. Oh, he's taking drag. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. That is the fish we came here for. Get in the net, get in. <laughs> I got him. That's the one we came here for. I wanted to get a giant striper. Oh. Ate that jigging spoon. That is just so much. Come on, don't hook me. Oh, close one. Let's say we get the hook out of him. Awesome fish. They're stacked, I've gotta get back down there. So the idea with the spoon is it represents a dying bait fish fluttering to bottom. If you fall on a tight line, it has no action. If you fall on a completely slack, oh, I missed him. On a completely slack line, you'll never know that you got bit. So the key is to let the bait fall on a semi slack line so that it can flutter. Oh, missed him again. It can flutter to bottom. And you'll know when you got bit. We're on the Tennessee River. I've got pretty heavy current. 
So my bait's already under the boat. That's why I'm casting again, even though I was getting bit. That bait's drifting across. It's one of my favorite ways to fish for striper or bass for that matter. Oh, missed him. Come on back for more. So when this bait is fluttering, these fish are just slapping at it, trying to catch it. This one and three quarter ounce, I mean, it sinks like a rock. It's going fast past them. So that's why you're seeing the short strikes, me swinging and missing. A flutter spoon will have a slower fall, but in the current, it's harder to get the flutter spoon down here. But I'm gonna mix and match between a jigging spoon and a flutter spoon to see if we can really dial this in. There we go. He's ripping. It's another strong one. Whew. My goodness. These fish can pull so hard. I love chasing striper. Oh, this fish is taking drag. Can you see that reel just, just screaming? Oh man, this might be a really big one. Oh man. Either this fish got fouled and that's why he's so strong or we've got a giant on. One or the other. Looking forward to finding out. I love fishing for largemouth, smallmouth, spotted bass, but when that drag starts screaming and we're using bass tackle, it's hard to argue with a big old striper. This is a riot. Oh man, it's a big one. He's not fouled. Oh my goodness. Get in there. I got him. He's bigger than the last one. Oh. How fun. This is amazing. So much fun. Just taking a day away from the normal bass fishing, chasing another species and having a ball. Thank you so much. Got him. I switched hands to screen grab an image so I could show you guys what my live looks like. I'm using live and 2D and side imaging all to find these fish and then to stay on them. So I switched hands and this one smoked it. Oh my goodness, they're getting bigger. Flutter spoon got an even bigger one.
Let me let this boat go by. These fish are massive. Unreal. It's incredible. Jumbo striper on that great big flutter spoon. What a fish. You guys have got to see what I'm seeing on this 2D. I'm going to get a screen grab so you can see it. It just looks like spaghetti. So many fish crisscrossing down in 40 foot of water. They're everywhere. Go, oh, missed him. Oh, just got crushed on the burrito. There's one. Mm. It's on the burrito on the SLX swim bait rod. Nice fish. Got him. Oh. That one is angry. Ow. Tactical Shad Burrito choked. <laughs> Six inch burrito, tactical shad color. There he is. Whoa! That fish just took, it's still going. It's just going, 40 or 50 feet of line in a straight pole oh my gosh it's like i'm hooked to the back of a freight train oh man whoo these fish will quit kick your rear end at least they'll kick mine oh he's just taking line here he comes here he comes coming up coming up coming up He's out there on the surface. It's another big one. Wow. He's just swimming a lap around the boat. Up over the talons. Come here. He's hooked right on the side of the mouth. So he's stronger than he should be. Come here. Thought I had him. Oh. 
God. So much fun. I switched up to a mag draft. Somehow my camera turned off, but it, the bite just stopped. So I went to a mag draft freestyle on a one ounce lead head and I just got crushed by something that is doing some strong head shakes. I'm bummed you guys weren't here for the hookup. She smashed it, but I think I've got a big one on again. Oh my gosh, just taking line. Mm. I'm using all heavy rods. Like this is a Halo, this is a 7.5 heavy. Been using a 7.7 heavy. That SLX swim bait rod, that was a 7.8 heavy. And these fish are still just owning me. So much fun. We're getting close. Hello. That's a nice fish. Oh, got her. Mag draft freestyle. She destroyed it, but totally worth it. Come on. Come on. So worth it for a shot at one of these fish. I just re rigged another mag draft. Here's my deep water mag draft setup, one ounce head with that freestyle on there. That fish smashed it. Golly, what a strong fish. went back to the Blade Runner spoon. Throw on that Sierra color again. This one crushed it. Nice fish. Another nice one. Another one on the mag draft. I don't know what it is. With that camera not being on every time they eat this thing. Jeez. It's just taking line. My gosh. I'll tell you what. I don't even know how big this one is. But this is my last one. I wanted to do something different with you guys today. Hook some fish that just rip drag and fight hard. And I got everything I bargained for and more. So I think this is gonna be the last one. I can't even get this thing up. I am so whipped right now. And this fish is not.
get up here. Oh geez, it's another great big one. Oh. No way. That mag draft is choked. Oh my goodness. I do mean choked. Come on out. What an awesome, awesome fish. And what a perfect fish to end the evening on. Amazing. Let me get this one revived and then I'll talk to you for a second. I'll tell you what guys, this evening I wasn't going out to do a bunch of teaching. I was just going out to have a good time. And that is exactly what happened. But I will walk you through some of this stuff. You know, Striper, no different than bass, they're just a whole lot meaner and they're a whole lot bigger. Uh, but the concept, the baits I'm throwing, it's all the same. Jeez, they're still, I'm afraid to throw it out there because one of them is gonna eat it. Let me show you this bait. I'll throw it back out there while we're talking. So that's that Magdraft Freestyle, one ounce head. They're stacked up out there. I went ahead and blew this reel up for you guys. All right, we'll let that sink out there. But anyway, the baits that you're throwing for these fish, or I'm throwing for these fish, are no different than the baits that you would fish offshore or ledge style fishing for largemouth. Uh, the smaller swim baits, six inch paddle tail, uh, the burrito, the flutter spoon, the jigging spoon, Right, these are baits that we throw on that ledge bite. Uh, and this is the exact same thing. So these fish, they're using current. I'm on the Tennessee River today. They're using current, but even if I was in just a regular lake with no current at all, these fish gather when the water temps are up uh, and the bait fish are down low, these fish will gather on offshore structure. So humps, the ends of long tapering points, that sort of thing and they'll stack up on that stuff uh, and it just takes one to get them fired up just like spotted bass largemouth smallmouth if you can get one fish from a school all revved up and biting you're in business and then you just got to keep them biting so that's really where the spoons shine because the spoons you can get them down really quickly and a lot of time getting back down there and getting back to hopping is what keeps a school going. It keeps them fired up longer. So if you don't throw a spoon, you need to. Uh, a spoon is a major player for, sp for uh, schooling fish. And that's both a jigging spoon and a flutter spoon. The flutter spoon has a slower fall, more action. Uh, so if the water's not as deep, you can catch a pile of fish on a flutter spoon. But if that water's deeper and you need to get down there quickly, you switch to that jigging spoon. Again, I'm throwing a one and three quarter ounce, so it'll sink like a rock, uh, but it's just a size two treble on there. In fact, I upgrade to an owner ST56 treble. That's what I'm using on these fish and it's plenty. Uh, I'm using 20 pound line on everything but the swim bait and the flutter spoon. Uh, flutter spoons on 25, swim baits on 30. Uh, but the rest is 20. Oh, I just got cracked. <laughs> he didn't get it though. Man, that's fun. 
The rest is 20 pound, and I'm using basically jig rod, you know, 7.5, 7.6, 7.7 seven, seven heavies. Good jig rods. Can set these hooks, and then after that, you are just getting beat up by these fish. It's so much fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this half as much as I did. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll talk to you soon.